my name is Patricia, also known as God's Design, here on YouTube, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing L'Oreal's Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation, something new from the drugstore. My color is 332 Soft Sable. I'm going to take you back to the initial review and then take you back to the uh, final roundup. So let's go. What's up, people? So let's get started with this uh, review. It says Bare Skin Perfecting Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 18. And this is what the packaging looks like. The claims are transforms from liquid to powder for the perfect bare skin finish. Application shake well for best results. Pour just a few drops into fingers and apply directly into skin. Not recommended for use with a sponge or brush. What's that about? So I'm gonna shake well. This stuff is really liquidy. By the way, my eyebrows are done and um, my face is moisturized. I'm having a little bit of a skin issue right now, so don't judge. But um, my face is moisturized and uh, prime right now, so I already got that going. And the only reason why my face is primed is because I'm going to work. <laughs> and so I can't take no chances, okay? But I will try this foundation a little later without primer. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this on the back of my hand. Um, and then work with my fingers from there since that's what they are recommending. So this is, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh. All right, so this stuff is very, very liquidy, okay? As you can see, it's like dripping down my hand. Very, very liquidy. So I'm gonna work little by little, okay? So I put my finger in it and then apply to my face. I'm just looking down at the mirror. Okay. The texture of this is powdery. Um, even though it's liquid. It's really strange texture. It just, it feels like you're putting baby powder on your face. So the color match isn't bad, but I judge the coverage of a foundation based on initial application and not after it's being built on. So on initial application, it looks like light coverage to me, okay? Um, I'm going to add a little bit more foundation. Be careful with this one, you guys. It's very, very liquidy. Okay, I'm building it up now and it's still looking like <laughs> light coverage to me. Yeah, because as you guys can see, you guys can see right through this foundation. Hair is all in the way. Really? All right. Um, I don't know what to say. This foundation is so strange. It's so strange. It's very. It looks very, very dry. I almost wish that maybe I didn't use a primer, but I'm sure you guys know that I'm, you know, oily combination, oily skin. Um, so I'm sure after my oils start coming in, it'll break it up a little bit and make it not look as dry as it's looking right now. All right, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, MAC Studio Fix Powder um, in NW43, um, so it'll add a little bit of warmth to my face. Um, on my Real Techniques powder brush, and uh, put that. And it's not really to set the foundation because it doesn't need to be set. I just need some color back to my face. It just looks really dry, really flat, really ashy. Um, there's a difference between a foundation being a yellow base and a foundation just looking ashy. This foundation just looks ashy. It's just very dry and ashy right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my e.l.f. Um, setting spray and set the foundation. Already it looks better. You see it? It already looks better. I don't know if you guys can tell, but definitely looking into the mirror. It looks better after setting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup look. Usually I would set all the way at the end, but it just, the way it feels on my skin, I can't just leave it like that. So I'm just gonna wait till the spray dries. Then I add my brush, my contour, all that, and I may spray it again down just a little bit, just so um, it's a little bit more tolerable. All right, so this is what everything is looking like when I'm finished. Um, the texture is a lot better. It feels good now on the skin after I applied my setting spray. Wish it had more coverage though, because as you can see, you can still see through even with the powder that I put on. You gotta put a whole lot of powder. Cause like I said, I wasn't trying to really set it. I was just trying to make it a little more warm. 
um, what I did is I used a bronzer, CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer in um, Ebony Bronze, just to give it a little bit more um, warmth. Um, I will be back in the morning to share with you guys what it took. Ooh. I will be back in the morning to share with you guys how um, the foundation did. In the meantime, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this hair. I would totally rock it like this if, um, you know, I wasn't going to work, but you know, since I am, this is a whole lot of hair for work. A whole lot of hair for work. Plus it has like a lot of glycerin in it, so I know it won't do well over time. But yeah, guys, I will catch you guys later. Good morning, y'all. Let me tell you something. It was about to be good night. I was headed to the bathroom, about to wash um, my face and then head in the shower when I caught myself real quick. I need to come back and tell you guys um, or show you guys what the foundation looks like after 12 hours. It didn't oxidize. That's a good thing. Um, still feels really light. Of course, you can see my natural oils have broken through. However, I feel like I lost some foundation along the process. So this is definitely not a long wearing foundation. But yeah, I just wanted to come in really quick. And I do me really quick because I'm about to murder my bed right now. I didn't sleep yesterday. I was editing videos. Got caught up. Didn't get to nap. So went through the ooh ooh. See? Almost fell asleep right there. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'll be back with the final wrap up. Just the same. I've been using this foundation for a week now. I've used it with a primer, without a primer, over a 12 hour period, and also for a short period. The color match was okay for me. There's, tw as of today, there are 12 shades in this line, so mm, not bad. All right, so let's hit up the pros. One of the pros to this foundation is that it has SPF in it, SPF 18 in it so that's good it helps you know protect you from the sun i also like the fact that it's light on the skin you really don't feel that it's there like i said it's a very strange consistency even when you're touching it it feels like a powder even though you know it's a liquid that you have in your hand but honestly those are the only two good things that i could say about this foundation i really don't like it it didn't do well over time i didn't like the finish uh, that it gave the coverage is not my preference. I prefer medium to full coverage. But light coverage is sometimes appropriate, but even for light coverage, I wouldn't choose this one. If you have dry skin, I definitely, definitely do not recommend this, okay? Maybe if you have oily skin, you'd like it, but people who have oily skin also tend to have problematic skin. So this won't do good in the coverage department. I didn't like this one, guys. I'm not even gonna lie, I mean, I don't like the fact that it's watery. Of course you can't use this with a brush because you'll lose all the product in the brush because this thing is like water. Like, I don't even like the price point on this. I mean, this thing was like almost $11 at Walmart, which I feel is terribly overpriced for this product. If, it's, if this thing is so liquidy, you really do need a pump with it. And for it to be like $11 and no pump, shoddy, no, that is too much money. This one is like two thumbs down. I will not repurchase this. This is a trash product. Remember in my last foundation review, I was talking about a trash versus a gift product? Trash product? No, I mean, this thing is such a hot mess that no one deserves to have it on their face. Gift product, not good for you, but maybe good for someone else. This is a trash product. I don't see it being good for any for anyone That's really. That's my review on L'Oreal's Magic New Liquid Powder Foundation. If you've tried this, let me know if you've had a similar or a different experience down in the comment section. If you guys like these, drugstore, foundation and drugstore makeup reviews, thumbs up, okay? Let me know that you appreciate the review and appreciate these type of videos. I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys in another video. I hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you. Hit me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on my vlog channel. As always, all those links will be down in the description bar below. I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys in another video. And as always, God bless.